what I'm gonna show you because I know you guys wanna see that, so it's going to be an exclusive. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new vlog. I, Filippo just called me, mm, borderline pretty upset that he's waiting for me downstairs for half an hour. So I better go down and then I'll, I just wanted to start this vlog, but I think it's, you know, smart to go down right away before I am single. I wanted to show you that for the first time ever, I'm wearing my new bag today. Today's vlog is gonna have a lot of content. There's so much that I wanna show you that we better get going. Also wanted to kind of show you a quick outfit of the day because I'm not sure I will remember today later I'm wearing. This is kind of my look. I've tried to layer a lot because um, it is sunny, but it's cold. It's also a pretty casual one. So that's it. Okay guys, we're back in the car. Philip was very upset that he had to wait for me in the car for 30 minutes. 34. 34 minutes because we checked on the cameras. Yeah. That's how much this relationship. Yeah. 34 minutes in the car <laughs> but i was and wait wait when i left she said i'm ready five minutes yes but baby yes then you said i have stuff to do yes but stuff to do it means i have to go to the you know to print something okay that was a misunderstanding <laughs> yeah <gasps> Let's just say that I was filming a TikTok because like my TikTok last night went viral. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you know. Uh, anyway, time for, uh, shall we skip uh, breakfast? Have you seen my outfit? And do lunch? Yes. I bit. think lunch at eleven thirty-eight is a bit. Uh, uh, but also breakfast at eleven thirty-eight is a bit. Uh, we can just have a coffee. Very sunny. It's actually not that cold comparing to Paris, especially seven and a half degrees. I'm like it's like tropical comparing to Paris. Wearing these Tiffany earrings. Do you guys like them? I really. really really love them. I think that's such a nice thing to the face. And uh, we're gonna have coffee. How do you like my outfit? Love it. Right? Yeah. Chic suit sneakers. Very chic. The only thing is that it's summery. <laughs> Maybe the suit is for summer and is minus. You know what I realized? Minus seven degrees. Yes. When I was shopping, I don't actually have any like wool. Besides the gray Magda Butrum one, I don't have many Maybe, wool. This is like a... <laughs> Like for summer, you're Serbian, you don't feel the cold. Exactly. Okay, well, we're gonna have a coffee and then I'll fill you in. Think she knows that she drives some crazy when she's looking like that. The way she's moving makes them want it so bad. It's the attention that we wish that we had. Yeah, it's almost cruel, cause I want her to. Oh, yeah, I Okay, guys, that was a really beautiful morning with the love of my life. Yep, that's me. Yes, in case anybody yeah. uh, was unsure. Mm, I'm so like feeling like a teenage girl, you know? No, 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 no. Um, oh, we finished that. Now I have very good news for you, Filippo. Yes. You'll be so happy to know, my Virgo tidy boyfriend, that I'm gonna get rid of now of all those boxes in the corridor that have arrived. So when we get home, Yes, happy. Oh, you want to reach God close, so you open the window. I have some really cool Farfetch items that have arrived. Now, what you guys don't know is that actually I'm heading back to Paris in two days time for a very special event and I need like a very special outfit. And I think I found it on Farfetch. So when we get home, I'm going to unbox everything. Actually, Filippo couldn't wait. So last night he started unboxing it and I was like, wait, I want to unbox it with my followers. And he was like, can we just get rid of these boxes? And I said, no, because I want to to have like first impression with my people right Filippo yep so that's where we're gonna go home now and I can't wait to see because I think I got some really cool pieces and I'll, I'll share them you with you very cool furniture that just arrived yes I'm also gonna show you that after I'm gonna show you how things are coming together take some of your opinions I always like to get your opinions as well today we try to actually again get those two lamps for the guest bedroom but we didn't get lucky no we were not inspired yeah right but to be honest it's a beautiful day in milan really cannot complain especially after paris it was gray and miserable wait let me show it to you a bit better there we go look how beautiful it's a blue sky sunny day i shot my outfit i'll insert some pictures and that's that andiamo a casa no prima andiamo a a bancomat brava prelevare un po di cash di non so come si dice cash in italiano I also don't know. perché noi abbiamo una parola per cash in serbo che gotovina gotovina yes no noi, noi diciamo che andiamo a prelevare qualcosa liquidi I, I don't know I don't know it's not something in italian we say we go to get some cash or 
a prelevare really dei soldi, right? Mm. Really... Okay. Well, anyway, we need to like uh, pay some stuff and then that's it. Anyway, baby, are you happy that I'm leaving tomorrow? No, I'm not happy at all. No. But I'm gonna see you in New York, baby. Yes, one well, up. That's <laughs> so far. No, I'm coming back on Friday. So we spend the weekend. Together. But I'm happy because you're successful and you're working and you're motivated and you're ambitious and that's all I want to have in a man. Yeah. So thank you for that. But anyway, I love you exactly how you are. So that's the best. Baby, what also what do you have to do today? Clean the rings? Yes. Okay. There's a lot of things, a lot of things, guys. So let's just let's go right. home. Okay guys, we're back home and I actually have like really nice pieces to show you. The thing is, Filippo was very impatient when the boxes arrived and he already started unboxing them and I have proof. So you'll see that some are partially open. He was like, this is my favorite thing to do. Let's see what you got. And I was like, no, but you know, when he's so enthusiastic, I can't even be mad about it. Anyway, we have, I got like five, six things from Farfetch that are for the event that I'm going to in Paris. It's a, like a very special event. And I wanted to find like a gorgeous piece that I'll, I'll wear it at. Does that make sense? I hope so. Long story short, you guys know I've been working with Farfetch for absolute forever. It's one of my favorite destinations to shop, specifically because I always find what I'm looking for on farfetch.com. And that is also because they actually work with variety of worldwide boutiques. So sometimes it would be like an actual boutique, like the brand, for example, that you order from, it will come straight from them. But sometimes it will be like a multi-brand store. It can be anywhere around the world and honestly I think that's also really great because it supports smaller businesses so technically like you have access to also like shops that you perhaps wouldn't really be shopping from in like Portugal or Cyprus or Italy France Germany anywhere really right I shopped before from places like Australia or US you know like when you cannot get a piece and you cannot find it anywhere it's usually available Farfetch. So I'll show you what I got and I'll actually start with the beauty. They have incredible beauty and home section. And now that we're searching for these lamps, I actually thought of searching on Farfetch, which I will do this afternoon. We have like a few little things that I need to get and I think Farfetch will be really a great destination for that. But when it comes to beauty, when I was in Miami this December for the Art Basel, you guys know we went with Farfetch and I also want to try these Westman Atelier, the contour stick. Let's try first. Never tried this before. Well, it already looks really good. I want to do very minimal, but like a glowy makeup. They helped me discover Westman Atelier. Now I've known the brand. It's the brand by um, Gucci Westman has done this like kind of consciously crafted beauty brand. I think it's kind of like a, along the lines of the cool girl aesthetics like less is more not too much makeup but kind of always looking natural etc and i really love that look as we all can agree right the thing is that i sort of like tried it once i think i think i ordered like a contour stick a while ago and without actually being properly introduced to the brand you don't really fall in love with it as much as i have when i really got to try the product. So I ordered two products that I really like when I tried them on. One I have never tried before. It's the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. Now I really love foundation sticks. You guys know that. I find them very easy, especially when I'm traveling because you don't even have to put them in the, and this looks like it's perfect skin color for me. Great. They don't even have to go in the liquid bag. And also when I don't want to wear much makeup, I literally just do like two, three kind of lines of foundation and I blend it in with a brush. This one looks so chic. I don't know if you can really see it. Every Everything that I will show you, I will link below. And in fact, I think when you open the description box, you will also notice that I have a special discount code for you guys if you shop on Farfetch. Mm -hmm. So I will link everything that I show you below and you can check it out. I cannot wait to try this foundation stick. We're gonna try it in this vlog together, I promise. We'll try it probably in the latter part. The other beauty item that I got before we get into the fashion is a blush. Now, I already have probably one of my top three ever okay that's a huge statement one of the top three blushes i've ever used in my life is the westman atelier blush in petal so i decided to use or try this one which is a little bit darker so i really really love this blush i think it's incredible i'm i mean to like i think like also that i now have this like dubai tan a little bit i really love having just a little bit of like light foundation glowy skin and then like the kind of berry colored blush on high points of the cheeks which I think it's quite a, like a fashion look. I don't know. In the summer, I'm more into like a peachy or rosy glow and now I'm more into like berry. 
what can we do? Now, I'll show you next what Filippo has already impatiently unboxed. Honestly, like, he's very patient with me, but I just say patience is not his biggest virtue. There's a dress that I told you guys, like, I got for this Paris event. But honestly, I've been wanting this dress for so long. So I've been just waiting for, like, an excuse to get it. And honestly, it's just another Magda the Butchum dress because I think we can all agree that your girl loves Magda Butchum. I'm going for this, like, fragrance event in Paris, and I think this would be Perfect. First of all, I love this like pink color. I think it's like a, ah, like it's kind of like bringing spring. Can we agree on that? But look how gorgeous. It has like obviously these like flowers on the chest area and then there's a small cutout and it's a beautiful like wires inside will are making this shape. It's very mini. So we're gonna have to see. And I would wear this like with a white oversized blazer. I also have one that I got on Farfetch a while ago. If my, like my OGs will remember. So I thought that those two could work really, really well. That's the first thing that Filippo has impatiently unboxed then the other option for the event for me was like a big oversized black blazer and like black heels so we're just gonna have to see how we're gonna style it i think you all know how much i love loewe and jw anderson it's just um, the creativity of jonathan anderson that always always gets me and that i find is really like something that nobody else can do so i decided to get these jw anderson jeans they basically look like they're very simple at the bottom at the top but at the bottom they look like there's a another pair of jeans like I don't know how to even explain it can you see this kind of like cuff at the bottom this could look amazing and I think that this could be a very cool fashion week acquisition we all know that I'm gonna need a big wardrobe for fashion week like a big fat huge wardrobe but we'll get to that later because I think that I'm really going to have to plan my outfits and like everything for fashion week so I think that I have to get in this fashion month prepared because if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. I always say this, and this is a fact. So I'm preparing. Can we just agree? And I think these jeans will be very cool because they're like comfortable. Also, like I don't want to like compromise on comfort, on feeling amazing and great and fabulous. So all in three is possible if you find cool pieces like this. Yeah, I'll link these below as well if you want to see what they look like, etc. Now, we have two boxes that are not unboxed, luckily, because I managed to save the situation on time. And in the first one, we have two things, okay? It's sort of like a jersey material top in black color by Rick Owens. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to understand what it is for my hands, you won't. You will have to wait for me to try it on. I don't even know what's the right way on. But I actually have a dress from this Rick Owens, same vibe. Wow, this is, I have no idea how this goes. Ah, okay, this is how it goes. I have the very same dress from this Rick Owens collection and I love it, I think it's insane. And the truth is that I don't actually have many tops that I can style with like skirts or jeans under blazers. I always end up wearing my like Magda Butchum corsets or like few little kind of like going out tops that I have. And they are amazing, okay? Like they are great, they're beautiful, but it's always the few same ones. And I am due a big closet clear out. So we need to get rid of everything that I'm not wearing. And it's not gonna be difficult because because I have like so many things that I don't wear and there are people that will enjoy them and wear them so I can like just, you know, do the whole good thing in like recycling. So I saw this Rick Owens top and I thought it's just really cool. It looks amazing. It kind of is a little bit more unique and I'm looking forward to wearing it. Plus I love what Rick Owens is doing now because I know that some like original Rick fans will be a little bit upset that some of the pieces are getting more commercialized, but I love it because we can all shop it, enjoy it and actually wear it. So that's a huge plus. So like this top with the JW Anderson jeans would go perfectly with my next purchase. And I have a pair of Amino I, I thought like, okay, I have so many Amino heels, like I'll be good. But honestly, there's always a pair I need. Always a pair I see and I'm like, this could be handy, you know? And this pair, I don't think I've ever actually purchased before. These are black satin. I think these are called rosy slipper but i really really love the shape so there's the martini uh martini glass heel they're black and in the front there's this which is not in focus right now but you will see it later there's this like gorgeous crystal bow and they're like pointy in front mine are in size 40 mules maybe not for new york but let's say milan comes evening okay so the jw anderson jeans the black rick owens top these shoes and a big oversized black blazer 
or a long denim jacket or anything really like a huge kind of like a leather coat love it all so love these I think they're really like elegant, but when you style them in an edgy way or any way, they're like perfect. Okay, love them. I actually have a pair of black mules that are from Saint Laurent, but they're like a little bit lower heel and I just needed something like this, you know? I really, really needed something like this. Okay, we're not done yet. I know I said I don't have many items, but all the items that I have are like very like bam, hardcore, really good. So that is the same for the last item that I'm gonna show you. And... Okay, no wonder Filippo didn't open this box. It's a bit harder to open. Okay, in the last box, I have something that I love, and you guys know I love it. I always say it's my favorite type of shoe. I've said it many times before, and I have quite a few just in different colors, so it will not be a surprise to you. We're talking about, about Jimmy Choo, one of my absolute favorite shoe brands, and I think what Jimmy Choo is that actually their shoes keep getting better and better and better and better and better and are very often, if not, most of the time my go-to shoes like every time i pack at least one pair of jimmy shoes when i travel i will link below some of my favorites but in fact i have actually written a blog post about my favorite jimmy shoes so i'm talking about the seida pump i'm talking about the asia in pink fuchsia that i wore uh, during the jimmy shoe valdez air trip i'm talking about the ones with the bow avery i believe they're called in the front and in the back <sighs> There's just so many that I think are so good. Oh, let's not forget the Bing. Bing is great. There's a lot, okay? And I decided to add to my currently collection of two Asia pink fuchsia I have. And I have that sort of like a green color, avocado-y color. I decided to also get the gold classic pair. And I wanted to wear these with the pink Magda Butram dress because I think that's just ideal. Okay, look at this. Now these shoes and this dress, I'm sure you're familiar with these shoes. Like they are absolute work of art. I think they're so flattering. Filippo loves when I wear these. We both think they're very, very sexy, very elegant, sophisticated. They're perfect for red carpets, for events, for like dinners, kind of like more, you know, like you can always style them up mm. and down. And I think they're so flattering. So now I have a collection of three pairs, the green, the pink, and the gold. And actually mm. I was thinking between getting these, the gold ones, or the metallic purple ones. I think the metallic mm. purple ones, I first saw them in Saint-Tropez in the Jimmy True Boutique. And I was like, oh my God, they're so gorgeous but i really needed the gold pad even though i have so mm. many gold shoes in my collection so anyway long story short i believe that these shoes are just everything you know love them love them love them so yeah don't forget to check out farfetch.com who is my partner for this video i am really grateful for that i love getting all of these items and i will leave the discount code for you all to use here so yeah let me know which item of these was favorite favorite of you guys if i had to choose one it's either the magda pink dress or the asia they're just so good you know you can always like count on these pack them in your suitcase and you sort it it's done so yeah let's now get rid of these boxes so that Filippo is happy everybody's happy and we can kind of continue with our day Good morning, guys. Okay, I definitely don't look my best today. I know we're gonna fix that. The thing is like I find straight hair when I wear my hair straight much harder to maintain than my hair curly. Yeah, it is what it is. Now, what we're gonna do this morning, we're going for lunch, Philippe and I with our friends. And I've just like woke up this morning, I'm moisturized. I had to go basically to Apple store to bring uh, my one of my computers to get fixed because it's like very convenient computer for travel and I have a lot of travel coming up etc etc so I was just like okay let's kind of get things under control but I want to do my makeup now so I only like moisturized this morning and now what I want to do is I want to try these Westman Atelier products that I got on Farfetch that I showed you yesterday I got a candle on I got mood you know got my coffee here as well so all's good okay so mine one is in shade seven uh it looks like it's a pretty much perfect color i don't think you can even see that i'm applying it that's that i actually also have the contour stick you will see it i will use it and it's so funny because now on tiktok there's this trending uh, mary phillips way to do makeup and it's perfect the westman atelier contour stick i will link it below it's also perfect for that uh it's somewhere here let's find it it's this one right yeah, my contour stick is in shade truffle. If that helps, 
This is the brush that I'm going to be using to kind of like apply it in. It's by Hourglass. I just think it's like, it's quite nice because it's dense, but not too hard, you know what I mean? What I love about contour, about the foundation sticks is just how easy they are. There's no like kind of, I always feel like it's never really too much or too little. It's like a perfect amount of everything. And I can't wait to also try the blush, the new blush. So this is the foundation. Honestly, look also how easy it is to blend in. I love it. I'm also going to apply the contour stick in Truffle. This is the one I got in Miami. I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, but I want to have a nice little base. I'm going to use this kind of like a more precise brush for that, just so I can blend it in nicely. Yeah, like I want to have a nice base, like a nice blush, nice like glow. And then that's about it. Today, Filippo is going to Korea and I'm not gonna see him for like a week, but it's okay because we both have a lot of work to do. So while he's away, I'll be working and then we will, yeah, see each other very soon. Time like really flies for me. And one thing that I have to say is that I love, what I love about my relationship, besides many things, is that we both have our own things. The concealer I'm gonna use is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. I just put it here, here, around here. And here. Yeah, I really love that we both have our own things going on, that there is no like, imagine for me having a boyfriend that every time I'm traveling or every time I'm having a work dinner or something like that. And then my boyfriend's like, why are you not home? Where are you? And things like that. That would like really, really limit me a lot. It'd be really hard for me to do my job. This way I have like really, I have to say, most supportive boyfriend. So also like I'm super happy for him that he goes on his work trips and that he's doing really well. I, I honestly like, that's very important for me. It's like one of the main pillars of the relationship. So this is the base. I love it. What I want also is my favorite hourglass. Where is it? Ambient, radiant, light, whatever, ambient light. I apply some here to kind of blend it all in, down the nose and here, and I'm not gonna put any on the cheeks or contours just because I want to put the creamy blush first. Let's see now how this is gonna look. I'm very curious. Quite big on it, love it. And let's blend this in. I'm gonna use this Rowan blush brush. You see what I really love about it? It's kind of natural, it blends so well. Wow, I really love this. It adds like warmth to my face, but in a way that it also looks kind of a little bit, it accentuates the tan that I got at the moment. Really, really love this, right? Nice. Okay, so this is amazing, the Westman Italia stuff. I also have the highlighter from them, but I'm not going to use any highlighter today, I think. I'm gonna go for, what shall I go for? I want to fix my eyebrows. Just a bit of like tidy situation. Haven't actually laminated my eyebrows since last year. So it's been a good month, but I've been taking good care of them and sort of like applying the good old Revitalash and things like that. There we go. I think that um, plan for today is lunch. Then Filippo's gonna pack. I really need to kind of like organize some things. Like I need, I still haven't, put things that I unboxed yesterday properly in my wardrobe. So I want to do that. Then I want to finish kind of some tasks. I have two projects to shoot today, two jewelry projects. So that's what we're gonna do. It's for my Instagram. And then once that's done, I think I'm gonna do like, cause today's Sunday. So what I want to do is a nice little weekly reset so that tomorrow morning when I wake up and I start working, I feel like I'm really on top of my game. I want like my desktop clear of any kind of like, especially like fashion week related content. I need to send a newsletter today. I don't know if you guys are signed up already to my newsletter, but you should be because I really tried to put a lot of effort in it. There we go. I applied some of the Tom Ford brow, whatever it's called, brow sculpt, yeah. And then for eyes, what should we do? Not a lot, right? What have I been using lately? I'll tell you. I think I'm gonna do something simple like this Tom Ford also palette. Let's try. It's the one in Desert Fox. That's what I told. It's quite nice. It's quite like ready, but not too red. 
you see? Filippo is watching tennis because Djokovic is playing, of course, he's supporting him and let's see, I want something nice and glowy on the base. I think I'll go for this. It's the oh so guilty, right? I don't, I'm worried it's gonna be too glittery. Let's see. Mm, kind of like it, to be honest. And the mascara, I'm gonna use my forever favorite Gucci mascara. I'm directly above the candle and it's really hot. And then I'm gonna show you in the afternoon when we're back from lunch. I and actually where we're going for lunch with our friends is where we had coffee yesterday morning, so that's kind of funny. I'm not sure I'm gonna vlog it, but what I'm gonna show you when we're back from lunch is all the new furniture that we have received because I know you guys wanna see that, so it's going to be an exclusive little update. I love to kind of also update you guys while I'm doing my makeup to show you everything I've been using and loving and why and how and all of that good stuff well my lashes are pretty long like look at this but as part of my new year's resolutions i've been really sticking with my supplements and when i take my supplements look all this baby hair i get so much baby hair i get longer lashes brows everything so that's working maybe i'll do some charlotte tilbury shall we do a bit of highlighter let's do it because i said i did say i wanted a bit of a glow glowy look right it's the um, pillow talk one so yeah i was basically saying the plan like what you guys don't know yet is you know what i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna mix it with the new a bit more of the new blush so that it doesn't kind of it looks like it's even glowier the plans so i'm going to paris in two days time actually day after tomorrow i'm going to paris then i'm coming back the right day after then i'm gonna have a, like only few days time to kind of shoot like i have a lot of work a lot of work coming up i feel like it's a bit crazy start of the year and i'm gonna have to like produce all of those contents and things like that after which i am going to be packing and prepping for new york there's so much to organize i honestly do not think that i'm ready i don't think my wardrobe's ready yet for that because i think new york's gonna be very cold it looks so far like it's snowing okay what do we think about that cold 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 is it good i love it okay so new york fashion week then london fashion week i'm flying straight from new york to london so i really have to pack a lot not only like the coats you know for new york they take a lot of space that's just yeah which lip liner shall we go for today let's go for this charlotte tilbury one i'll link everything below as always so we're going to london for London Fashion Week, I already have stuff kind of organized there. And then from London, I'm going straight into Milan fittings. Yeah. And then we have shows in Milan to do, which are going to be... I tried this season to cut so many. So like some of the shows that I would usually do, but I was like, okay, I didn't find particularly useful for you guys or for me. Like there's only so much you can do. I remember like last year on the first day of Milan Fashion Week, I did like one, two, three, four, five, six shows. I remember I had like 12 appointments in the day. I had like six shows and six presentations or something like that. And honestly, why? You know, there's only so many hours. Oh no, I forgot one. So maybe seven shows. So there's only so so much you can do and it's just you know if i need to also enjoy a little bit i feel like i'm not really at the point of my career anymore where i need to prove myself so i think i can do a little bit more of like things that i really enjoy and that you guys enjoy so we really try to condense the schedule in a way that of course i do like you know gucci fendi prada you know like all the good stuff basically you know when you do all the good stuff i don't need to overfill with others i'm gonna apply this victoria beckham bikini lip gloss today i really like it look and blend it in with the liner because i don't like to have the prominent line so yeah in new york i'm worried that i actually overfilled my schedule a little bit but i've spoken yesterday on friday the day before yesterday i went to the office to my manager and we cut out some shows like i was like okay listen if i'm not working with this brand or i don't have a relationship with this brand throughout the year and it's not like you know some sort of like partnership i don't think it's necessary for me or my team to be like kind of throwing so much energy over it so i think like this fashion week is already looking very busy but good busy and i think you guys will enjoy it even more we're gonna try and kind of implement some different things when it comes to vlogging we already came to terms with that so that's that the look is done do we like it 
I don't know if this is better or worse, honestly, because this is good for me when I'm doing my makeup, but maybe for filming is not great, you know what I mean? Because it's kind of patchy then. Okay, so now I'm gonna get dressed. I think we need to be at lunch in... Ooh, in 35 minutes we have to be there, so I better go get dressed into something cute. What, baby? I think it's match point. Match point? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. I was gonna show my outfit. Uh, later. Because we have to watch. Yep. Anyway, guys, my outfit is here. Manuri trousers, Kate knit, Magda Butram coat, these sneakers are new balance, they're actually new, I've never worn them before. I got my Tiffany earrings and let's watch this match point now. Okay. Let's not forget to put this off. Such a beautiful light at home today. And this is it. This is my look for lunch. Very casual. It's Sunday and I want to be casual. And also Milan is a very casual city for all of you that perhaps haven't been to Milan before. So my boyfriend is, I think, uh, let's see. It's not match point, right? It is? Finish it with. Go! <laughs> this is the biggest Serb I ever met, honestly. Like, no comment. Done? Wait, wait. Are you happy? Wait, wait, look, look. Such a release, look. Filippo, now we can finally go to lunch and we're running late and Filippo is never late, what you guys. Say? What is he saying? Guys, this emotion, I, I really, it, I have to say it really touched me. It's a bit, um, wow, I don't know. Okay, like a bit too, too right. Well done, Mark! Now I can go and eat something because it's like 1 p.m. and honestly we haven't eaten anything. I'm loving my makeup today. Just to show you as well from this perspective, really loving the makeup today. I will link all the products below so you guys can enjoy them as well. My new bag is coming with me. Let's go! Okay, lunch is done with a lovely, lovely lunch with friends. Did yeah. you try it? What did you eat? I had the branzino mm -hmm. because every time I go out, I eat fish yes, it's because true. it's not something confirm. that we cook at home, you know? So every time I'm, I'm out, I do fish. I love Pasta and how my skin meat. is like, it, it looks the makeup of the day. I really like it a lot. I ate a lobster roll because it's one of my favorite dishes at San Ambrose. <laughs> San Ambrose. And uh, now I'm a little bit sad, but can I be just a little bit sad? Mm, yes, you can because my boyfriend is leaving, but it's okay also because I have so much work to do that actually yeah. I have to kind of get things going, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm not going that far, baby. I'm just I mean, going... you're going very far, just not that long. Yeah. And you were saying now how grateful you are for... No, yeah, I was saying, I mean, it's supposed to be private, but it's okay. Just like short line, you don't have uh, to say no, all the details. No, I'm grateful of, of the life we built, it, of the, the fact you... that we even if we travel the world and we still enjoy our, you know, little routine things, you yes. know, like a lunch on Sunday, it's one of the most uh, beautiful, beautiful and moment, the most grateful one, you know, I am about, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry for my English, but I'm very grateful <laughs> of our Sunday lunch because, you know, we always travel a lot, as I said, we're always around, but whenever we can have our home routine, I'm so happy. Same. And I have to say that like, you know, I know that like my channel is a lot about like material things and beautiful things we own and like show like fashion because we work in fashion, both Filippo and I. So for us, like little things like that is kind of like part of like everyday life and work. But the most important thing for me, and I guess for everybody really, is just like the time we spend together and the moments yeah, we you share, know, those it's, simple it's, ones. You know, you know, it's not about the quantity, is about the quality and yeah. you know when you're young they tell you that yes it's not about the quantity it's about the quality and you're like bullshit da, da, da. i want more i want more and then you grow you evolve you get older and you understand that it's true what your old people used to tell you it is about quality, the quality. we don't spend much time together but the time we spend Oops. we always make sure that is at the top level. level we're dedicated to each other and we do yeah it's true i agree as well i would rather have like someone that 
I spend less time together with because we both work but it's a good quality time that we're together than every day together but we don't even communicate you know no 100% and that's why baby you know and you know what the time we have together is the best one yeah because during the week we are busy we work we travel and you know there is stress there is uh, sometimes I cannot pay attention to you because I can't because which I'm, is very I'm, unfortunate I'm on because hundred things and then sometimes I like attention Sometimes you can give me the attention I need because you are on thousand things. But whenever we are together, then we have the time for each other. So I always have time for you. And even if I don't have it at the moment, I will always make it. No, I know. Same. But you know what I mean. Sometimes it is like very difficult. I mean, I'm, I know you always have time for me. But if you have, if you are doing a video, you don't have time for me. Yeah. Because you're doing a video, which is, you know, it's normal. But I think that if we are spending every day together, like there are some people that they work together. Yeah. But I think that for that, you, I don't know. I don't know if it would work for us. But maybe. And maybe it will one day. You know, maybe one day we will work together. Who knows? Who knows? I think we could do very well. I never thought I could ever work with my partner because I just like to keep separate things. Like I like to keep my work and my personal separate because I think it's very easy that when you mix the two to kind of lose the personal, you know? Like yeah, you're yeah. constantly then when you're alone talking about work, right? 100%. You'd be you'd be always thinking about what next thing we have to do, etc., etc. But this way, I can tell you about my work and you don't know about it, and you tell me about your work, and like we talk about like random things and talk about feelings and talk about the plans and ambitions and goals and it just hits a little bit But you bit know, also, you know, look at me now. I'm leaving today. I'm going to the other side of the world. I'm coming back on Friday. And in those five days, I'll have like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, the amount of things I have to do. But all I'm thinking, beside what I have to do, is on Friday night when I'll be back. Yeah. To spend the weekend with you. And that's, you know, it's all about to look forward, forward to, something. to something. It's all about that. The moment you lose that, that is the moment that you lose the, you know, the excitement. Guys, welcome back home. Now, I wanted to show you a few things that have arrived that you haven't seen until today. Well, I think so at least. So, first things first is this console table or swatatask as Filippo kept saying about it. We've been waiting for this piece to arrive and I really, really, really couldn't wait to show it to you. So we received this piece. It's just um, kind of like the console that you keep, you know, the keys. It's made of like leather, brass, marble, wood. It opens as such inside it's wood as well in the drawers and we put a few things yesterday we got this new candle this is papiers france mm, smells really nice i have to say i actually really love these kind of like a traver travertine pieces as well now we have this huge mirror that i think well filippo thinks should be hung up so that it's not like this on the floor because like placing a mirror like this i kind of like when it was the old like a parisian mirror but with this one i would prefer it on the wall and the last but not the least thing that you kind of have seen but haven't seen is our coffee table and now it's complete because it's this is what it looks like this was done by our favorites artigiani de marmo and you can see they're like the bottom legs and i just also love 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 how it's done so it's like a real stone you know like a real i don't know like very natural feel and i just really love travertine love it honestly it's my favorite so this mirror we still have here this is kind of usually my selfie mirror to be honest and we also have like few the rest of the couch arriving relatively soon i want to say soonish so yeah you will see but i have to say now that the coffee table is here i really feel like this house is becoming a home and honestly i never used to spend time on this couch ever like you would never find me sitting here because i just felt like it was weird to sit on a couch without a coffee table but now i'm sitting here more more and more and i'm like finding it more like as you can see i made my coffee and i'm gonna have it here now we do have a lot of coffee table books in here can you see them here in the corner let's darken it up a bit but they are a bit too colorful for the coffee table however i'm gonna figure it out we need to see we still don't know what's gonna be here there's so much 
much space more we have like few options and this at the moment is just like a nothing space but i do think that the apartment is slowly coming together you might be wondering what happened here i don't know if you can see there are the marks from the mirror that was here we're gonna probably have to repaint we have this new brass light that is now in our bedroom and this kind of like a goldy brassy mirror is now here now we just kind of thought the bedroom is currently very messy. I need to get rid of so many things. We also don't have those lamps. Those lamps are supposed to be in the guest bedroom. We need to get proper like lamps for the bedroom, but this is here at the moment. And yeah, we'll figure out what we're gonna do here. I just think that at the moment it really works being here. It adds like a little bit more vibe to the bedroom. And now I think I'm gonna have to love you and leave you because I have so much tidying to do. I have to put up so many things in the wardrobe. I need to organize stuff. I need to plan stuff because we're going to have very, very intense few weeks. So I wish you a wonderful rest of the evening or day, depending what time it is where you are while you're watching this. I love you lots and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.